I'm Lynette Zhang, Chief Market Analyst here at ITM Trading, a full service physical gold and silver dealer specializing in custom strategies to help you survive and thrive through the reset that has already begun. And we're going to take some excess questions that came in. And the first one is from Julie Lauer. And she says, neighbors to the north, meaning Canada, I presume, were always able to buy gold when FDR made gold illegal. Since they are so close to us, could the American people back then not have taken advantage of that? Well, I think they probably could have taken advantage of that if they actually understood what was happening to the monetary system. And in fact, they could have continued to buy pre-1933 gold coins like Treasury Secretary Wooden established in the law and my uncle took advantage of. So yeah, if people actually understood what was happening to the monetary system, there were a number of different ways that they could have bought and held gold. And, you know, but what did they know? What the founders of the system knew is that people marry the legal money of the state and they cannot help but think that it will regain some of its value, even though it never does. And that's why it has virtually no value now. Only reason it has value is because people still continue to accept it in payment for their labor and use it as a tool of barter. At some point that will change. And Amy Anna asks, what do I think of one ounce silver Britannia? What types of things and how much will you be able to buy with a one ounce Britannia? Or a one ounce piece of silver, that's the smallest coin that I could find at the moment. Well, you know, there are rounds, so there are all different sizes of silver, like pre-1964, 90% silver, dimes are, they're not a tenth of an ounce because it's 0 .70715, because there's other metals in there. But you have pre-64 dimes, quarters, half dollars, as well as the dollars. And there are some rounds, silver rounds, that also are in uh, tenths and quarters and half ounces. And also, I mean, this is sterling silver, which means this is 92 and a half percent pure. And this would be pretty easy to break down if I needed to do it. So there are all sorts of options you know, that you can do with silver, but yes, I love them at any level of silver, but you do want a variety of sizes if you can get your hands on them. And I have lots of one ounce pieces as well, even one ounce bars. So um, I believe that we have availability on the silver rounds, the smaller ones and junk silver. So you can call us and see if you want to lay in some smaller pieces, but yes, I like them. And Louisa V asks, do you think silver will be a good investment? Well, if you're thinking of it as a trade, yes, I, I think what you're asking me, do I think that the price in terms, if you're thinking of it as a trade, do I think the price in terms of fiat will go up? And the answer is yes, it will. It has to break above that 20 level and um, and then it'll go higher and ultimately back in 2012, I think, or 2011, I think it was near 50. So it has a ways to go before it concludes that cup. But what silver really does, and again, like gold, it's used across every single area and aspect of the global economy. So there's always demand. Silver is used more in manufacturing, which is why you've seen it not keep pace with gold, but you need both. So for me, silver is about barterability. Again, you know, if I needed to, and I didn't need the whole weight of silver uh, that was in this bracelet, this would be easy enough for me to break down. But I do have dimes and quarters and half dollars, as well as the one ounce pieces. And uh, please forgive me if I butcher your name. Zuquan Ren, Rain. when do I think the price of manipulation will end? 
Well, I think that the manipulation will end when they are ready to fully do the reset of the financial system. And we have to feel a whole lot more pain. So the hyperinflation will kick into gear. But when we're looking at this, because uh, that question is really like, when do I think the reset will happen? Unfortunately, we're not done feeling the pain yet. And once they put in the universal basic income, so UBI, and the public knows, oh, I'm going to get a check every month. Because right now, a lot of people are saving whatever they can save because they have such an uncertain future. But, which is why I think we're going to have universal basic income before the end of this year. When they feel comfortable that every single week or every single month they're going to get a paycheck that or a check from the government, well, then they're going to go out and start spending that money. And I think that's when you'll start to see the hyperinflation kick into gear when it transmits throughout the economy in that way. Then, of course, ultimately there is the crash. People feel, lose all confidence. And frankly, when confidence is lost, there is really... You, you got, it's hard to get back, I'll say that. So when everybody's lost confidence, then they're gonna start resetting the currency. They will use gold to do that because that's the way they've done it for 6,000 years. And, we'll, and that's when they'll stop really manipulating the price or when they lose control. And the traders are a lot bigger uh, and seem to have a whole lot more clout than the central banks, but definitely watch the video that I'm gonna do, uh, that I did on Friday, because I think we're gonna probably run this on Sunday. So watch the video that I just did on the reset, uh, and I think you'll get a lot out of that one too. And Debbie Gerard asks, why are the stores running low on change? Well, the Mint stopped minting as many coinage during this pandemic they say they don't have the employees to do it and for their safety but you know i want to i want to remind you in the breaking below the lower zero bound that the international monetary fund put out on how to take us cashless they like distance between their policy and how that policy is delivered to you the coronavirus is a great cover for resetting and changing the entire global monetary and financial system. They can use that to justify. So low on chains, people aren't shopping, but I mean, when you stop and think about it, how many people actually do use cash and require change or use exact change? I can tell you for me, I do like to use cash. Typically I'll keep change on the bottom of my purse, but it gets really heavy. So I throw it in a jar. And so, you know, I think that's pretty typical. I think it could just be a setup to force the retailers to say, okay, no cash, unless you're gonna use exact change, everything goes on debit or credit or electronic payment. And that's just about getting us more used to it. And GM asks, if the future of currency is digital and we know that the central bank will issue its own controlled digital dollar, how can physical gold and silver be converted into that new digital currency? Great question, GM. And it's really very simple. Right now you have more than 3,000 dealers around the country that will convert your gold and silver into whatever that current currency system is. That network may grow, but there's always people and always businesses that will make that conversion for you. Because that's been true no matter where you are in the world, 100% of the time you can always convert your gold and silver into any currency, any good, or any service. That same thing cannot be said for fiat currencies that go away and then you can't use them. So last week I was interviewed by Terry Saccone for the Atlantis Report and it was a great interview so I'm going to encourage you to listen to it and watch it. 
And uh, I was also on with Daryl and Brian Payne from As Good As Gold in Australia. And I'm sure that is going to be a lot of fun because I actually haven't done it yet. I'm going to do it this afternoon and we're going to run this on Sunday. But uh, next week, I'll be interviewed by Patrick Timpone from One Radio Network. So if you have any questions about this or anything else, just send them to questions at itmtrading.com. Make sure you visit our blog, itmtrading.com forward slash blog. And that's where you'll find all the images, all the links, as well as the pieces that I write. This will be posted on Brighteon as well. And remember, if we can be of service, if you're concerned about what's going on and you want to create your own plan, which I cannot encourage you strongly enough to do. I mean, you, you do not want to walk through a currency reset without a plan. Just click that Calendly link below and set up a time to talk to one of our consultants because they've all been trained in the strategy that I created for myself and it will just be tweaked to your specific goals, needs, circumstances, and what you have to work with. If the time you want isn't available, call us at 888-696-4653 and you'll be able to make that happen. They have all the questions to make sure that all of your bases are covered and you can sustain your current standard of living as well as get set up to take advantage of this reset because without any doubt whatsoever, it is time to cover your assets. And you do that with the Wealth Shield, which is made of physical gold and silver in your possession. So if you like this, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. We'll let you know when we're posting a new video or going live. And if we can be of service, don't forget to call us, but please, until next we meet, please be safe out there. Bye-bye.